Joe Super Soul, thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! It's a Z Box, apparently. <laughs> so it arrived in one of the Hook Group boxes, but it's actually the, this month's, well, oh, I think November's Z Box. They're a little bit behind by the sounds of it. Uh, this is November's Z Box, but on the 20th of December. <laughs> but anyway, we've got a Z Box to open up. Uh, I know it's Z Box because there's a little sticker on the side that said November Z Box. <laughs> so we'll see what's inside of it. And apparently the theme is Knights. Interesting. So let's go ahead, and I've already pre-snipped so I can get straight into the action and see what's inside this box. Guys, if you want to pick yours up, if you want to grab yourself a box from Zavi or anything from the Zavi website, there is a link in the description. It is an affiliate link, I do have to tell you that, but it would be very awesome if you did use it because it would really support this and my main channel. Um, I don't make any, I, well, I don't make much revenue from YouTube doing this, so uh, affiliate links and things like that really do help boost my earnings here on YouTube so that I'm able to keep making these awesome videos. Right, guys. With all that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look in the box. The first thing I am seeing is a pop vinyl. Pop vinyls are always good to get because they give you at least £10 of value. So you know that already we're halfway there with the price of the box. So this is Tommy Oliver from the uh, 25th anniversary line of Power Rangers. However, it doesn't have the 25th anniversary sticker on this one. I don't know why. Um, I'm pretty sure this was a part of that line. And this is all. This is a part of the series where the Power Rangers haven't got their helmets on. And this is Tommy as the Green Ranger with the gold um, chest plate on there. And you can also get Jason, Kimberly, Zack, Billy and Trini all with their heads off. And you can also get Goldar, Lord Zed and Rita Repulsa. I would love to track down me a Goldar! Goldar is probably my favourite of the villains! <laughs> Come here Power Rangers! <laughs> So here is Tommy. Very nice pop, actually, number 669 in the collection from the Power Rangers. Um, it's alright, that. I, do, I, I don't mind it, you know. Um, Power Rangers, so... Yeah, like I said, at least £10 worth of value there. So that's not bad. Next thing I'm seeing, guys... Oh my. So we've got Detective Comics 219's Batmobile. This is the, Bat, the Batmobile Assorted line. These were a part of a, a Eagle Moss collection a long time ago, I believe. And I believe... I believe uh, Hook Group and Eagle Moss either have a, an agreement or I think Hook Group own Eagle Moss, I'm not quite sure. Because there does tend to be a lot of the Eagle Moss products in these boxes, and this is one of those. But these have started appearing in places like B&M over here in the UK, and Home Bargains have started getting them as well now. Not something I'm necessarily interested in, uh, but I think it is cool to see all the different Batmobiles in these nice fancy cases. If you are like an inbox collector, these are quite nice little collectibles to stack as well, and have all the different Bat you know, Batmobiles through the ages. That's not bad. I'm not sure what price you'd put on that. I think in B&M they go for about five or six quid. Another little item this week. This is the Star Trek... What, what is this? It just has all the logos of all the Star Trek films on there. It doesn't actually tell me what this is. So this is the uh, Bajoran Raider 9013 AC. The Bajoran Raider, Bajoran Raider. I'm not a Star Trek fan, guys, so that means no to me. I hope it means something to you guys. But it's a nice little gift box, little item. Uh, it comes with a ship in there, and it comes with a very fancy Star Trek box. There's a vinyl cover over the front, so nothing's going to fall out, but it does look like it should have a front cover on it, but I think it's designed that way. But yeah, it's got the Star Trek logo there, and with all the others, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, Next Gen, and all that, and the Enterprise on the side. So I believe this is the ship collection. Um, who's these by? Is this another Eagle Moss thing, do you think? Who made these? Doesn't say, but it is die-cast. Not intended for play. Eagle Moss Limited! <laughs> another Eagle Moss product. Ah, I love it. And finally, guys, we have a t-shirt. I like t-shirts in these boxes because that, again, means we're guaranteed at least a 10 to 12 pound product. Is it in the right size? Please be in the right size. Because I don't have any Power Ranger shirts, and I would like a Power Ranger shirt, so please be in my size. I have no idea if that's even in my size. Oh, yes. XXL. Okay, okay. This should fit. Or be near enough ready to fit. Well, that's quite discreet as well, actually. I like that. It's just a plain black shirt with the Power logo. So, yeah, I would wear that because it's not overly in your face, geeky Power Rangers. Saying that, I am wearing a... Star Trek Enterprise shirt right now, it's very big and bold. But, you know what I mean, you could get away with wearing that out and about, nobody would really know unless you were a fellow geek. I'm not sure many people would recognise that logo without the writing. I don't know, but it's very nice. Just a nice plain black shirt with that logo. Yeah, I like that. That's on my street. 
So the value for the box is definitely there. The boxes are worth £20, and obviously we've got a t-shirt and a pot vinyl uh, with those other two items thrown in. I think the value is just about there, if a little bit over. So we do have the value of the box at least in there. But what are your thoughts on Z-Boxes? Are you going to be picking one up for yourself? Let me know in the comments down below. You don't have to buy a Z-Box, but if you do buy anything off the Zavi website, like I said, affiliate link down below, it would really help us out. You can get 10% off anything on the website using Super Sorrel 10, and you can also get 20% off clothing using Super Sorrel 20. They do have some great bundle deals on there with t-shirts for like 30 and 40 quid for like 10 and 20 t-shirts right now. They're always worth picking up because these it's usually these t-shirts that are throwing the boxes, and they're the t-shirts that I wear year round, to be honest. Most of my t-shirts come from Z-Box. Uh, so as much as I do laugh about the boxes, I do wear the shirts. The shirts are the main part of the box because if you're like me and you're a bit of a bigger lad, you struggle to find geeky shirts out here, especially when you go to places like George or you have to go to Sainsbury's or wherever to buy shirts. It's not nice for a start, is it? But then they very rarely have any geeky shirts or like cool shirts to go with. So when you've got companies like Z-Box that are you know, putting shirts in boxes every month, it's like getting a fresh shirt every month. You know what I mean? It's like it's nice. So, let me know your thoughts anyway in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button or the subscribe button. This is the More Super Sorrel channel. If you, have, if you are new around here, then please be sure you do subscribe. This is where I'll be doing a lot of my own uh, unboxings of mystery boxes and other content that doesn't quite fit on the main channel. So make sure if you're new around here, like I said, you do hit that follow button on here as well. And just thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you. Bye!